Welcome. Oh, she looks very pale. Is she all right? Get her to her bed quickly. She can rest here, free of charge. Thank you. Why do you hesitate, Kane? Go, Bess! So you're Go, Bess! Ah, uh, Cecil, I presume? Never hesitate to kill, Cain. Now, see how it is done! Cecil! I will not allow you to harm him! I did not come to treat with worms. Hmm. <laughs> Kane. Enough of this foolishness. Bring me the crystal. My lord.
Rosa. No. Oh, you care for this one, do you? Then let me take her along as well, to hold and trust, until we are graced with the chance to meet again. Come, Cain. Come forth, Scormilion. Scormilion of Earth at your command. Cecil aspires to dangerous heights. He ascends Mount Ordeals as we speak. I shall clip his wings now. So oh, he desires to become a paladin. Dispose of him! His dark sword should be all but useless against your undead. I shall return with his head. <laughs> this is getting interesting, wouldn't you say, Cain? Cecil might still prove to be quite a formidable opponent. You dare question my judgment? No, sir. Scormilion is one of the four elemental archfiends. He will not fail. <laughs> Rosa will bear witness as well. Sir, please grant me a second chance. Instead of Scormiglion, allow me the task of slaying him. Just be grateful I let you live after that blunder. Guarding Rosa may even be too great an honor for you. <laughs> Cecil. Thanks for taking care of those soldiers. You're more than welcome to spend the night here. Hmm. He defeated Cognazzo. His power continues to grow. Sir, regarding the last crystal. I know. That place remains a problem. Then let Cecil go retrieve it for us. Hmm. I'm certain he will comply. After all, we have Rosa. We can exchange her for the last crystal. A primitive idea. But it may work. Then, I will destroy him at the time of exchange. I shall go to convey your terms to him. Cain... Rosa, you'll see soon enough that I am superior to Cecil.
Kane! Come out! Now, now. First, Master Golbez would like a word. Golbez! <laughs> well done, Cecil. You have exceeded even my expectations. Wretch, show yourself! Rosa stands beside me at the top of this tower. Bring the crystal here, and we will make the trade. She had better be safe. You had best hurry, or else something unfortunate might happen to her. <laughs> Welcome. Golbez! Where's Rosa? First, the crystal. She'd better be alright. Hand over the crystal now, or she dies. Here, take it. Now where is Rosa? Rosa, whomever are you talking about? What? <laughs> you two diamond cur! Return her this minute! Ignorant daughter, have you no idea whom you are dealing with? How could I ever forget the monster who killed my daughter? Vengeance will be mine! Bio! Hyraga! Such feeble spells. A vain attempt at revenge. Pundaga! Lezaga! I must cast Meteor! No! It will destroy you! I have no choice! Witness my final power! Meteor! Impossible! Uh, how could he know? Meteor! Tella! It matters not. The crystal is mine! Cain! So Midia broke my spell over him. So be it. He no longer serves any purpose. Mark my words, Cecil. Someday, I will destroy you. Don't think you can escape so easily! Impudent fool! Hmm? Uh, uh, why don't you finish me? 
you. Huh? What's going on? Uh! Uh! Huh? W we will settle this the next time we meet. Open the door! Yes, sire! Whoop. What? Our paths cross again. Golpez. I command you for finding your way to the Underworld. And now that meteor-wielding sage is no longer with you. Still, in thanks for his service, I shall tell you why I'm collecting the crystals. The eight crystals of light and dark are the keys to reactivating the Tower of Babel, which leads to the moon. Legends say the moon possesses power beyond our comprehension. I need only one more crystal to materialize my dream. You have been of great aid to my quest. Now prepare for your final reward. <laughs> Such is your power. I expected more. Open your eyes and gaze upon true terror. Shadow, come forth! <laughs> Farewell, Cecil. The dragon! The shadow dragon destroyed my mist! Are you okay? You can move now. That voice... We did it. We've defeated Golbez! Rydia! What happened to you? Leviathan took me to the Fey March. The land of the Eidolons. I learned a lot there. I can't use white magic anymore, but I've grown as a summoner. But time flows differently there. So I guess I've aged a bit. Well, that explains why your appearance has changed. Cecil, who is she? It's the girl we found in Mist. Fortune favors us indeed! Rydia, we owe you our lives. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. The Queen of the Fey March told me that a great force is secretly at work. We must confront it together. The crystal! <laughs> you never cease to amuse me. Golpez! 
When the cat is away, the mice will play. But the game ends now. Edge. Father? Mother? Thank heavens, you're all right. You're... alive? Come with us, Edge. Yes, come with us. Where? To hell! To bed! Wait till you heal! Ah, oh, can it and give me a hand! Kane, you belong to me, Kane. Bring me the crystal. Go, Bess! Kane! Get a hold of yourself! I'm alright. I'm no longer under his control. Ugh. What? Kane! Now I can restore the Tower of Babel. At last, I shall reach the moon. Kane, wake <laughs> up! <laughs> Please, Kane! With all the crystals in hand, the way to the moon will open. Stop! <laughs> Damn. <sighs> All right. Whew, we stopped it. Why you? How dare you destroy the giant! You! Do I know you? You have to look deep inside yourself! You have to realize who you really are! Stop it! You must wake up! <sighs> what came over me? Why was I filled with so much hatred? You have regained your true self then. Do you remember your father's name? My father, its name was Kluya. What? Then you must be Cecil's. You two are brothers? My brother. You were Zemis's puppet in his plan. He was using you with his hypnotic powers. You were chosen because you have the blood of Kluya, a Lunarian, coursing through you. That bond made it easier for you to be controlled. But to make you fight against your own flesh and blood. We get it, old man. I was fighting against my own brother. All of this hate is against my own flesh and blood. Then you're... I wonder why you were chosen. It easily could have been me, as I also have Lunarian blood. 
I was chosen because of the seeds of evil that lay inside me. Semus saw that evil, and he helped it grow. Where are you going? To find Semus, I'll settle this. Wait! I too am a Lunarian just like Zemus. I will join you. Goodbye, Cecil. Golbez! Fusoya! We did it. You have much strength. It is a shame Zemus had control of your powers. All right! All of you have come! Ugh. Just a second too late. I was supposed to finish him. Cecil. <sighs> Cecil. We are evil. We are the hatred of Samus. We are Zeromus. We know it all. His death has caused his hatred and resentment to grow? We've only served to intensify his evil! Zemus. No. Now you are Ceramus! This time, I will see to it that you are completely destroyed! It is time for you to disappear! Meteor! Meteor! Meteor has no effect! Use the crystal! You chose the dark path. The crystal cannot cleanse your sins. You are bound by darkness forever. Die! You 
must use this. Zero miss! I can't lose! I can't! Here! Let us help you! Don't give up! Trust your power! Keep your focus! Don't die on us! You must prevail! Brother! Gift to the crystal! The holy power within you! Ceramus! Show your true self! Well done! You hold much more power than I had expected. The race of the Blue Planet may have already evolved past us Lunarians. Yeah, you might be right. You saw how strong we were. Zerimus' last words bother me, though. As long as evil exists... True evil will never die. Every living creature has at least a touch of evil in its heart, as well as a touch of goodness. It is as sure as there is light and darkness, the overworld and the underworld. The goodness you hold in you is what destroyed Zemus. Oh, stop it already! There was nothing to it! What are you talking about? I was surprised Zemus didn't try to control you. I'm sure you have enough evil inside. Haha, <laughs> nope. My heart is filled with goodness all the way. Well, it is time for me to return to my home. What about everyone else? We will return home as well. Yes, there are people worried about us. I see. I'm glad you have such wonderful friends. I look forward to the day we meet again. May I... may I come along as well? You wish to come? Yes. I cannot return home. After all I've done, I would very much like to meet my father's people as well. Ah, yes. Lunarian blood flows in your veins. Very well, come along. But you must be ready for a long, long sleep. Yes, I am prepared. Thank you. You sounded very worried when you called my name, Cecil. <sighs> well, 
But of course it is impossible to think that you could forgive me. Not I, who have done so much to hurt you and your people. We must go now and sleep. We will pray for the peace of your planet. Come, let us go. Yes. Cecil. Are you certain you want to part this way? He's your brother! Farewell. Cecil? Farewell, my brother. Thank you. Brother. Your Majesty! We don't have enough materials! Take apart the tanks and remove any useful pieces! There's no need to worry about war anymore! Father, I wonder how Cecil and his friends are doing. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. It seems Sir Cecil and Lady Rosa are the new king and queen of Baron. Oh my! I've also been notified that we've been invited to the coronation ceremony. Woohoo! Your Majesty! You're not helping to fix the castle at all! I'm the king! I can do whatever I want! Now go take apart some tanks! Lally ho! ho! Shit.